welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back to do another tag video. And today I am doing the reading goals tag. I'm not sure who did the original, but I will have the video underneath. But I saw this on Shelley Swearingen's channel and it caught my interest. And then as this is going to be coming out in June, I thought this was an appropriate time to reflect and recap of how my year is going so far. So the first question is, do you set reading goals? Why or why not? And I do set reading goals. In fact, here are my reading goals that I set at the beginning of this year. Are your goals things that you absolutely aim to complete or more general things that you wish to focus on? And for me, they're more general themes of what I would like to focus on. And that's just because I have found that I'm extremely bad with actually keeping a specific goal. I know everybody loves to say SMART goals, specific, measurable, attainable. I forget the R and the T, but I hate that acronym and I hate making those type of goals because they don't work for my brain. But saying a general goal, this is what I'd like to average in a year, that I can do. And I, I have averaged four books a month, so I'm doing great with that. I have not averaged one new release a month. I have read three new releases so far this year. In fact, didn't read my first new release until April. I had the read one nonfiction a quarter, and I, while well, I have finished one nonfiction this year, I didn't get it done in the quarter. If I remember, I started at the end of January, and I just finished it at the end of May. But I have read at least one, so there's only three more that I'm really pushing myself to finish. And then my last one was to lower my Goodreads currently reading list. And so that's just the number or on Goodreads. You can mark books as currently reading. I'm trying to get that number down. And no, I have not. I have finished a couple books that were on there, but I have added more books onto the list. And so as I did say, I made these goals in the beginning of the year, January. I can't help it. I love making goals in January. I make goals throughout the year for different things. Usually I find January and, and then in September, I guess something about the beginning of the school always interests me. So I don't have any long standing goals. I do find that while I might make a goal for the future, having making small little goals in between actually help me get there. Otherwise I kind of make the goals at the beginning of the year and then I might check in halfway through to see how am I doing? Do I want to refocus something? But I I don't actually track most of them. I keep a record of the books I finish because I use Copile, so I know how many things I've read, but otherwise I'm not specifically tracking them or looking for numbers or metrics or anything like that. And I think that if any of my goals have kind of gone awry so far, it's the lowering my Goodreads one, but Again, that was more of a general theme, and I think I'm also being more intentional of trying to finish books, and I'm always trying to at least get one book back in front that is on that list, so I'm just not continually reading new things, or so I'm not at least continually picking up new things. And I, I found that this way of making goals just helps me best. I did used to try to make very specific goals and then I would feel miserable when I did not actually attain them. So then what I just realized is, no, I need to be more general about my goals and allow myself flexibility. I mean, for example, my read one new release each month, I knew that I wasn't going to really hit a lot of new releases at the beginning of this year. But as the year goes on, I'll, there'll be more months where I read more and more new releases. So it will average out to at least one a month. And I'm okay with that versus, you know, having to make myself miserable because I didn't read a new release in January or in February or in March. So I read three new releases, by the way, one in April and two in May. So what about you? As a reader, do you find 
making reading goals helpful. What type of reading goals do you make? If you are a fellow booktuber or author tuber, I would love for you to do this video because I think that would be interesting. Thank you and have a great day.